AJ, usually I like to dick around and make a lot of jokes and everything and like prolong the introduction to the show and talk about a lot of stuff that has nothing to do with PlayStation VR or PSVR 2 before the show begins behind this beautiful, beautiful thumbnail that I threw together in just seconds. But <laughs> I don't think we should keep the cats waiting this time, do you? Dude, <laughs> unveil the curtain. <laughs> Pull the red curtain back. <laughs> Emergency broadcast. This is not a drill. Game cats assemble. <laughs> PlayStation VR 2 is officially called PlayStation VR 2, Brian. <laughs> Still <is> screaming <laughs> over the <internet. laughs> I love it. It's okay to be excited. We should all be excited. This is PSVR Gamescast Live, and you already know all that information, guys, because there's new information that we here, don't usually talk in. about. Aww. Bring it in. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm touching all of you right now. Oh. I am touching oh. all of you. They're so fluffy. They're, They're so, so fluffy. fluffy. <laughs> <laughs> guys, this Woo! is amazing news, guys. We didn't, you know, there was. Mm, I don't even know where to start. What I what I want where I want to start is that um, we were a little bit curious about this CES event tonight. You know, the uh, Sony's press conference at CES 2022, and we're thinking, eh. There's no way, right? It's just it's just after the new year. I had said last year, you know, that, that the, the, the PSVR 2 reveal or, or the information got pushed into 2022. I don't think I knew <laughs> that it only got pushed slightly into 2022. This obviously wasn't the full reveal. We didn't see the headset or a full launch lineup of games or get a price or release date. But, and Sony is talking, and that to me is crazy exciting. Don't you agree, AJ? I could not agree more, my good friend. Um, yeah, they're doing, they're kind of going back to just the traditional roots of how they like to show stuff like this. And that's super cool. It's almost nostalgic at this point because of the last couple of years and, and, the, and the way everything has changed. And uh, it's beautiful, man. It is, a, it is a beautiful sign of so many things uh, to come that is really exciting. So you know what's funny? Uh, we were we were watching this together. A lot of us were watching this together on dis in Discord. Um, Jamie, I was streaming his screen, and we were all kind of watching it on YouTube together. And uh, and you know, it started off, and there was only a couple of us there. And I remember saying to Dan from Electric Hat, who was watching it with us, I, I, I said, "This seems like the type of event <laughs> that Sony would, you know, say something about PSVR two at." Because in, in, and I didn't know why that was until I thought about it for a second, and then I realized. This is the first time Sony's done a live event in so long. The fact that there were people there and, uh, and, and and you could get like an audience reaction and that kind of stuff because usually they've just been doing state of plays and blog posts and it's just been very cold or, or stagnant almost feeling. Uh, so just seeing those people there and, and seeing actual people on stage, I said, this, this, something could happen tonight. <laughs> and, Brian, and I primed and ready. Started getting amped up and, uh, and, and I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled that, that that ended up being the case. I was playing to the top with my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> and then Jay Meow started calling me. And I'm like, he wouldn't be calling me for, for any reason. And we were talking about potentially streaming this event live. And we were like, well, let's just yeah. let's just kind of keep an eye on it and, and just, you know, see what happens. And wow, did something happen? I mean... After all the, the the letdowns of like wanting to see more and after, you know, just all we've been through trying to get to at least this part, uh, just get the official name at the very least or just say something. It's it's finally happened. And what a great way to start off 2022 right off the bat. Uh, and man, they gave us a whole bunch of info. Now, a lot of this info we've kind of talked about before. Yeah, um, this so is stuff, that, we, stuff we, that we've leaked, stuff that we've, we, you know, we've sort of pointed you guys in the right apologize. direction. We apologize to Sony for that, but... <laughs> but uh, yeah, hear, listen, hearing, but, it from, hearing it from us is one thing, you know, when, when we say, hey, we trust us, we heard this from... It you know, didn't, yeah. Yeah. It, it didn't it, ruin any of the excitement at all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so excited, Brian. No, no, dude, I can't be, help it. <laughs> be excited. <laughs> the, the thing is, is like none of what we knew about... Did not change does not change a single thing about how I feel right now because that's why when people are asking for more info we were like let's just wait and experience it together and yeah this is where we are right now and it feels good man it feels good 
We yeah. have so much to talk about here. It, we do. We have so much to talk about, but I, dude, I'm trying to just get caught up with all these these tips right here. And so we so, do a, maybe we can do a uh, like a tip catch up like later or something. Well, can, listen, we, they, they, dude, there's so many. Like, let's let's get them out of let's get them out of the way, and then and then we'll and, and then we'll do a tip catch up. Um, and, and I apologize. Usually we spend time on each of these comments, but I'm going to, uh, I, I think we should kind of blast through them and just, uh, get, give everyone some recognition. For we, we will follow up with you guys. We will follow up with you. Absolutely. I promise. Um, first one comes from Salvador with the $5 tip says, can the floodgate of PSVR two games be open now? Or do devs have to wait for a release date? I think the release date thing, I, still. Yeah, yeah. There's probably still lots of people under NDA and stuff, but this is still huge. And we got a brand new exclusive. Our first uh. PSVR PlayStation VR two exclusive has been announced, which we'll get into for a minute. Yo, In absolutely. Wally Sarid Faridi with the Canadian two dollar tip says, "What an unexpected surprise! Games cast on a Tuesday. I mean, dude, like uh, we we just couldn't sit here and be like so excited and not share that excitement with you guys, right? Yeah. I mean, like, this is this is celebration time. This is what we've been waiting for. This is the first of many many steps uh, that we're going to be seeing this year, and so we just had to celebrate with you guys. We didn't want to sit in the dark by ourselves suffering from COVID. Looper the Underground Game Cat with the five euro says, "Doctor Who: Edge of Time should be remastered with eye tracking support." Just for the angels levels Absolutely, who cares about man. doctor who right now there's much more <laughs> important things than doctor who uh Sal- salvador with another two dollar tip says i heard it was only minutes away <laughs> i said weeks maybe. weeks away <laughs> weeks weeks yeah uh Maybe looper the minutes. underground yeah. game cap the two euros says sent 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 i like it professor lewis with the five dollar tip says great reporting all year guys uh, thank you professor lewis the sunday multiplayer survey is up in discord choose from Corex, beat saber battle zone while psvr2 approaches yeah definitely join discord and get in on that uh the mul- weekly multiplayer stuff emily baxter the cartoony witch game kit with the five dollar tip says okay now i'm signing up for patreon to get aj hired also going back to predicting pre-orders in late march great news Yes, patreon.com slash parole games. Let's get this guy hired so we can start covering PSVR 2, like, round the clock. Non-stop, non-stop, <laughs> baby. Let's do this. Darth Vader, the game cat, with the two, uh, $20 tip. Jesus, thank you. He says, uh, this is incredible news. We needed this. We finally get to bust a nut. <laughs> this is amazing information. Uh, sense controllers, though, still used to the name Orbs. LOL, so excited. Delirium Drew uh-huh. VR with the $5 tip says, in the words of pumps, I am moist. <laughs> And then Brian Piccolo with the five dollar tip says, "Happy New Year!" This announcement makes sense. Oh, and there's another. Oh, damn, dude. <laughs> dude, we can Loop, seriously. Looper the can, underground can, game can. cat with the two euros says, "Tip, catch up, train, <laughs> choo choo." And then ah, cerebral frost with the five dollar tip says, "AJ, don't stroke stroke out on stream, okay?" I'm and gonna then, have a stroke if you don't stop tipping. <laughs> and then and then the triangulator with the fifty dollar tip says, "Now this is how we kick off 2022. Glad to be here." With all of you, <laughs> trying later, I couldn't agree more. All right, no, we will. We'll, I swear, like, you can we'll continue tipping, but we, we have to, like, uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> we, we have to get to some stuff here. And you know, that we can, we can, you can tip, but we might have to address it like later tomorrow on Gamescast and do a, do a catch up. We can do it, we can do it. Uh, one way or another, we'll do it. Uh, man, so Brian, hey, it's officially called PlayStation VR 2. What do you think? I like it. I mean, I, I'll be honest with you. I loved NGVR, but that doesn't really last. And, you know, I, I love PlayStation VR 2. I think this is the right choice. We, we've been speculating whether it be called PS5 VR or, or something, uh, you know, PSVR o- Oasis or something. And uh, I like PlayStation VR 2. It's, it's simple. Yep. This is the same naming convention that they use for their consoles. Yeah. And this was absolutely the right decision you don't want you don't need to get cute with it and risk actually affecting business trying to get cute with it this is yeah. perfect absolutely the, perfect the only alternative i would have accepted would have been playstation 5 vr and only just to right. kind of you know again right. we talked about it at length about saying avoiding confusion making sure people with playstation 4s aren't trying to buy playstation vr 2 for their ps4s or pros um but other than that other than that, this is absolutely perfect. We've been calling it PlayStation VR two for like three years now, <laughs> right. and uh, and so Sony came on came around to our side. Thank you very much, Sony. Yes. Herman, Herman's been listening. Every poll that I ran to said always ended with PSVR two, and it was like duh, like ran away with it. So <laughs> absolutely, the 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 people's choice right there. Yeah, absolutely. Um, 
Okay, so CES going on. Uh, Jim Bryan's doing uh, the pre the press conference. He did. I, I you said you, you said you were playing to the top, which is a great excuse not to have been there live. But um, but then uh, but you know, and then they're talking about the Uncharted movie, and they're doing a lot of movie stuff, uh, and then they start talking about PlayStation Five, and uh, and then they get into PlayStation VR two. Now, I think we should just head directly over to the PlayStation blog. For all the hard yes. facts, because we could, you know, we, we could just list these things off and probably miss something important. Instead, let's do the PlayStation blog post. Let me let me go over to the full screen. And I've got it right there. here. I'll, I'll start with this one. And, uh, you know, just stop me if you want to, like, you know, stop me if you want to say something. Hell or I'll, yeah, stop man. And I'll, I'll give you a second. Here we go, guys. Let's go from directly from the PlayStation blog it says playstation vr2 and playstation vr2 sense controller the next generation of vr gaming on ps5 this article was written by hideki nishino the senior vice president platform experience he says happy new year everyone Woo! happy new year it is my great pleasure to start off 2022 with news on our next generation virtual reality system for the ps5 console starting with the official name playstation vr2 Aww. and our new vr <laughs> and our <laughs> yes and our new <laughs> vr controller playstation vr2 sense controller uh, dude sense controller is a, de a decent name too um you know it's uh it's funny because just before we hopped in here nick mulo loyal moderator for the channel uh was saying he, he thinks that sense controllers actually came first and then when you poof, shove them together to make that the controller we've been using on the playstation 5 and dual sense came next so he actually thinks right. that this was in that sense was in development definitely has to do to with sense. definitely trying to keep some uh some like uniform thing going on there you know um all right playstation vr2 takes vr gaming to a whole new level enabling a greater sense of presence and allowing players to escape into game worlds like never before with the headset on a con on con and controllers in hand players will feel a heightened range of sensation unlike any other Thanks to the creativity of the game worlds being built by our world-class developers and the latest technology incorporated into the hardware. Building upon our innovations from PS5, PlayStation VR 2 adds a true next-gen experience with high-fidelity visuals, new sensory features, and enhanced tracking, along with a simplified single-cord setup. So they are making sure we everyone knows this is not a wireless headset, yep. and who cares? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, right, you, you can go on and on and on and be like, oh, they need to yes. do wireless to compete with Quest. No, they fucking don't, especially when you no. see, you know, like I, we've been we've been saying for months, maybe a year now, saying when you see what it's capable of, you'll be like, oh, I'll tolerate the fucking wire. It won't be a big deal. You won't even think about it. And, you know, we'll talk in pretty soon about what we saw tonight and how good things look. Yeah. Um, Okay. Yeah. The, the wireless, you know, that's something, uh, again, as some of the marketing research and marketing development people uh, said way long ago, that that, that technology to be able to hold a battery life and be very small is, is you know, probably likely years out. Um, so anyways, yeah. single cord setup, no more breakout box or anything like that, that you have to me mess with. No more six cables you have to deal with. One cord to rule them all. <laughs> visual fidelity. For a high fidelity visual experience, PSVR 2 offers 4K HDR, 110 degree field of view, and foveated rendering. With an OLED display, players can expect a display resolution of 2000 by 2040 per eye and smooth frame rates of 90 to 120 hertz. I mean, this is everything sounds leaked. familiar <laughs> yeah <laughs> this, this, this is all leaks from when we snuck into the dev summit back in august but 4k man i remember making a video uh i think it was two years ago or m at least a year ago and i said it could be 4k and the comments were calling me crazy and i'm like you know i, I don't know so so here we go man yep. uh it's I know it just sounds too good to be true, right? Wrong. It's true. Uh, what do you think? And and sticking with OLED, what do you think about that? That I is mean, awesome. Yeah, that that's the way to go, man. That's 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 always been, 
you know, why the screens look so amazing. That's why the beta screen looks so amazing. No, OLED is the way to go. So that's really good to hear. Headset-based controller tracking uh, with inside-out tracking. PSVR 2 tracks you and your controller through integrated cameras embedded in the VR headset. Your movements and the direction you look at are reflected in-game without the need for an external camera. I mean, it goes without saying, right? But, like, it's just, it's really good to reiterate this for people who, you know, really uh, either hated the PlayStation VR 1 because of the limited tracking area because that the camera created, or, or they finally stepped away from PlayStation VR 1 and adopted the Quest 2 or whatever because it didn't require that setup. We're so used to playing in front of our TVs, AJ. I don't know about you, but I am. My camera's right on top of my TV, or actually on the bookshelf above my TV. Um, it's going to... Yeah. You know, to, to be able to just sort of play, I'm still going to play in the exact same place, the exact same area, um, but to, to not have to worry about, you know, how far left and right I'm stepping, it's, it's going to be really nice. Yeah, for those who might be wondering, no, you do not need a TV to play PlayStation <laughs> VR. Right. Uh, you won't need one for PSVR 2 either. Uh, all right. Uh, so, new sensory features. PSVR 2 Sense Technology combines eye tracking, headset feedback, 3D audio, and the innovative PSVR 2 Sense controller to create an incredibly deep feeling of immersion. That's what it's all about, man. Immersion. Right? Am I right? You're right. Say it. Say it. I'm right. I mean, uh, it, it happens so infrequently <laughs> that I better say it while I can. You're right. Headset feedback is a new sensory feature that amplifies the sensations of in-game actions from the player. It's created by a single built-in motor with vibrations that add an uh, that add an intelligent tactile element, bringing players closer to the gameplay experience. For example, gamers can feel a character's elevated pulse during tense moments the rush of objects passing close to their heads, a character's heads, or the thrust of a vehicle as the character's uh, speeds forward. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> so this thing, so we, we knew about the motor, but we didn't know if it was just something for motion sickness or what, but we assumed this is what it was. Right. So, man, I mean, we're now going to see where, like, if, there's, if you're in a level and there's, like, an earthquake... It's going to, like, rumble. Oh, dude, absolutely. And it's so funny because, you know, the, the first thing I thought of was, like, oh, it's gonna there's going to be rain, and you're going to feel the rain on your head, and then you're going to be able to take out an umbrella, and you lift up the umbrella, and then you feel the drops in your hand, you know, like uh, ricocheting off the umbrella uh, that vibrates on your hand. But never did I say, oh, I'm going to feel something in the headset when we hit the acceleration on a car, right? And that... And, and, and that that nearsightedness of mine is just going to be so, so obvious in the future when every single thing, every single action involves some kind of feedback and it starts feeling like second nature. Like how, how do we ever function in VR without this feedback? Yeah, this is going to be a brand new thing. That's not in any other headset that is super, super cool. And I, you know, I like the fact that they even mentioned it being used if something even just whizzes by your head like not even actually coming into contact with something mm -hmm. and like you said like to to kind of have like some like a g-force feeling in the in the cars like you said um if you're like accelerating at a high speed the way this can be utilized wow i mean that's going to open up a whole new home like way more ways to do stuff so Dude, all right. imagine super hot vr just like as a stupid example right and like this bullet slowly goes by your face and you just i mean i immediately want to play that game again like, yeah oh man <laughs> additionally ps5 uh ps5's tempest 3d audio tech makes sounds in the player's surroundings uh come alive adding to this new level of immersion. So we've heard a lot about the Tempest audio tech, but we, at least for, you know, that's PS5 only. So uh, that's not something we've had with uh, PSVR 2 yet, but we will, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, you, want, you want to add anything to that about the uh, audio tech, 3D audio? No, I mean, dude, it's like, we've, it's, it's everything we already love about VR, but better, right? And... Yeah, anything that adds to the immersion, uh, you know, I, 
I don't know a ton about, you know, PS5's Tempest 3D audio other than like what Mark Cerny told us during that extended PS5 breakdown. And I sort of napped during part of that. So uh, my apologies for not studying harder. <laughs> but yeah, I'm excited. All right. So now, now we're on to eye tracking. With eye tracking, PSVR 2 detects the motion of your eyes. So a simple look in a, in a specific direction can create an additional input for the game character. This allows players to interact more intuitively in new and lifelike ways, allowing for a heightened emotional response and enhanced expression uh, that provide a new level of realism in gaming. It's so funny. It's so funny because they say it, it can create uh, additional input for the game character, meaning like you're looking at specific items or whatever, that the game knows where you're looking, uh, which we talked about a little bit um, about how horror games are going to be better because not only does the game know which direction you're facing, but now they know exactly where in the room you're looking. And so things can change at a moment's notice, you know, that special thing that I love. But they don't talk about like the technical benefits. And, and I guess that's OK. Like, I guess mo the average consumer doesn't need to know how eye tracking combined with boveated rendering can actually like increase the performance of the game and give you better resolution and blah, 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 that whole thing. But it's, but it's true. And so it's kind of cool to see that they're just kind of throwing shit out there and, and, and not having to even like tell us every single benefit of each one. Right. Wherever you look, it can, it can detect where you're looking. So it knows to only render what you're looking at and it can free up a lot of space on the CPU and GPU um usage yeah uh all right so uh, it says all these advancements in playstation vr2 combined with the haptic feedback and adaptive triggers or uh from the psvr2 sense controllers oh. enable players to feel and interact with games in a much more visceral way place uh, psvr2 will also have a simple setup process with a single cable connected directly to PS5, you can immediately jump into the VR experience. Today, we are also pleased to reveal that one of the biggest exclusive franchises on PlayStation will be coming to PlayStation VR 2, Horizon Call of the Mountain from Gorilla and Fire Sprite. This uh. original game is being built specifically for PSVR 2 and will open the doors for players to go deeper into the world of Horizon. Fire Sprite, man, newly acquired our, our, the people we love dearly over there that made one of our favorite PlayStation VR games, The Persistence. They also made uh, the Astro's Playroom and, and worked on a couple other things. I mean, and when I say like, oh, a couple other things, I mean, like Wipeout. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're an amazing team. Um, and, I, and I think we should probably hold off on talking more about Horizon Call of the Mountain um, and, uh, and stick with PlayStation VR 2. We'll go down the PSVR 2 spec list here, uh, and then we'll talk all about the, uh, the Horizon game that they revealed. Sound good? Yep. All right. You, so, you want to read the specs? Yeah, sure. Uh, so going down the PSVR two specifications, and let's just let's just say that one more time together, folks. Everybody in the chat with me, ready? PlayStation VR. PlayStation VR two. two. <sighs> just to have a name, man. Just to have a name, and to and to see, uh, and, and, and just uh, just to see it on stage with the logo. I mean, like it's the exact yeah, logo. The logo. You it's so, and yeah. it's so beautiful. It's it's, it's so, so simple. Why it's, why is it so pretty? It's just <laughs> white letters. <laughs> And yet it's so beautiful. Oh, dude. dude we, we've been talking about this for it's so like, long. Remember, remember we had to convince people that PSVR 2 was a real thing and that they were actually it was actually in development. Billy was, you're crazy. PlayStation's, Sony's given up on VR. Oh, and it, oh hey, hey, my friend, the battle's not over. We have oh. a lot more. <laughs> we have a lot more to tell people once they start listening. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, God. You know, dude, and dude, I mean, even as of even, even as of today, you know, a lot of people were upset, uh, you know, and, and I haven't watched it myself, but a lot of people were upset that Greg Miller over on PS I Love You was saying that he still didn't think PSVR 2, uh, you know, that there's a potential for it to still be canceled or delayed. And, uh, and I just don't think that that's the case anymore. Like, I, it's, I, it is 100% coming out this year. I, I, I would have said that 
you know, six months ago. It's definitely coming out this year, yeah. Yeah, and it's um, not getting hey, delayed. Greg, Greg's been on vacation. Or No, I'm sorry. He, he's listen, not been listen, on vacation. We give Greg, we give he, Greg he, he's paternity leave. Greg yes, three months. He's got he, a kid. We're he, very happy for him. But the fact is, but the fa- but the but fact yes. is, is that people people out there are still in denial. Too. And, uh, and, right. and, and so it's gonna, it's, it's still an uphill battle and we love that you guys have come along for the ride with us because, uh, we know we sounded crazy for a good number of, for the last two years. Uh, oh, yes. so I'm glad you guys stuck with us. It was, it's been awesome. All right. Let's talk about these PSVR two specifications, the display math- method, OLED screens. Uh, we know this, uh, panel resolution, uh, 2000 by 2040 per eye, meaning 2k per eye, essentially, uh, the panel right. refresh rate. Uh, 90 hertz and 120 hertz obviously super important i wonder uh, yeah yeah to help, to help eliminate motion sickness right what were you gonna what you were wondering what nothing don't worry about it okay <laughs> the lens separation adjustable adjustable so this is the thing it's a 110 degree field of view but it has an adjustable lens that you can separate it with so I wonder if that's like the max or, or well, yeah. So, so yeah. So it's, I, I'm guessing it's, yeah, it's, you can physically adjust it. Right. Right. And so I'm I, sorry, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm trying to, I'm, I'm so like freaking out right now. It's okay, man. It's like, I don't care if you're like 20 <laughs> steps ahead. I'm just happy that you're here with me and I'm, and I'm happy that all the cats are here with us too. Uh, yeah, also, man. Shout, shout out to everybody in the chat. There's over 300 people watching. Uh, we're so, so happy that we, we knew we had to come celebrate with you guys. Like we couldn't just sit here by ourselves and, and go, it's great. <laughs> yeah. Um, if you're ready, if you're ready to, uh, to join in on the PSVR 2 hype train and join in on the fun, subscribe down below and, uh, you know, jump on, man. Uh, taking all, boarding all passengers, all are welcome here and uh, get ready because we got a lot of talk to, that's going to be taking place, a lot to cover. And, uh, you know, of course, after that, we're going to have reviews for you guys and everything. So Bro, this uh, is, this get be on board. Best year for VR yet. I, I, I'm calling it already. Best year for VR yet. Um, you, we, uh, PlayStation VR has been awesome and, but it is definitely, uh, is definitely time for our new headset. And it's, I think Sony has taken their time and they're d- done everything right, but let's get there. Uh, the field of view, 110 degrees, it says approximately 110 degrees. Uh, just FYI for anyone playing quest two, this is 20 degrees higher than the current headset that you're playing on and 10 degrees higher than the PlayStation VR one. Um, so, uh, the. PlayStation VR one is pretty good. This is this is gonna help just that much more. The yeah. Quest one is kind of like you see through it, uh, like quite a lot, which isn't good. But yeah, the, Quest uh, two can feel like you're wearing goggles sometimes. Like actually, like P- look like you're wearing like scuba diving goggles or something. As most of you probably know, PSVR one has like you'll see like a little black outline. Um, but so this might get rid of some of that. Uh, sensors says motion sensor, six axis motion sensing system, three axis gyroscope, three axis accelerometer, uh, and then attachment center sensor, IR proximity sensor. So <laughs> using infrared sensors, uh, six axis motion sensing system, three which, axis gyroscope. Which is pretty okay. much. Oh, you know, oh, so they're. Yeah. yeah, gyroscopes Using and accelerometers are, are nothing un- that we're unfamiliar with. If you've ever uh, if you've ever used a DualShock uh, Four, uh, and 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 you didn't, and the camera didn't need to see what you were doing for it to fully understand <laughs> what the DualShock was doing in real space, uh, that's usually due to gyroscopes and accelerometers. It wasn't actually using the camera to track which direction your controller was being held in. Right. But those will just those just help increase like the performance of, of the tracking. Right. Um, the main thing is going to be the infrared tracking, which will eliminate should eliminate like any of the drifting and all those issues we we you know interference that we had from light tracking and things like that. This is interesting because I, I'm I'm not 100% familiar with uh, how other headsets work. Uh, so with the cameras, it says four cameras for headset and controller tracking, IR camera for eye tracking per eye. Eye tracking per eye, so it's just infrared tracking for the eye tracking. But it's uh, the same thing. It's the same thing. All right. Uh, let's see feedback, vibration on the headset, which we just talked about. Communication with PS5, USB Type C, which we talked about. Audio input, uh, built-in microphone output, stereo headphone jack. So it's still a headphone jack to use. Okay. And okay. I, I, I hope, 
I hope that the microphone in this thing is as good as the microphone they had in the PlayStation Dude. VR 1. Yes. Right? The PSVR 1 microphone is amazing. It's better than like any microphone I've ever bought. So, yeah, I would be happy to use that uh, system again, that same that same mic system. Yeah, if you've ever um, seen somebody streaming from their PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5 itself, right? And uh, you, you, can, you can always tell because you get the uh, kind of fisheye lens, the black outline, circular outline. Um, there, that means they're streaming from the headset itself, and their voice always sounds great, even if like the video quality isn't amazing. Uh, and so that's how you know, and that's the that's the amazing amazing microphone at work there. Now on to the PlayStation VR two Sense controller specs. Take I will. Over, I, I, I. It's going to be hard to not call them orbs anymore. Um, maybe I can just call them orbs for the nickname, and you know we'll we'll still call them orbs. Um, <laughs> orbs, orbs, orbs. Rest in peace, orbs. Um, but the buttons they have the right uh, on the right hand. They have the PS button, the options button, the action buttons, which are circle and cross, R one button, R two button, right stick, and R three button. So basically, the right hand is the right side yeah. of a dual sense. On the left hand, you've got all. You've also got the PS button, the create button, action buttons are a triangle and square, L1, L2, left stick, and L3 button. So essentially, what they've done here is just, I love it. Don't you know? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Take the dual sense and rip it in half. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Um, and I guess yeah, there's they're not calling it the grip button, which is going to be like on the lower side. They're going to call it just the. R1 and R2 buttons. Um, yeah. Which, which I mean, anybody who's been playing PlayStation uh, for any amount of years knows these buttons as L1, L2, R1, R2. And I think that's a smart move. Can we give a big shout out to joysticks? <laughs> 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 yeah, I mean, I, like, mean, I think we uh, I think we uh, underestimate. You know, to us, we're like, duh. But I think we we can't underestimate how important having joysticks is going to be now. Yeah, it, I mean, it so goes without saying, you know, that is like that there were obviously going to be analog sticks on the new controllers. We knew this all along. I mean, it's like we we actually sort of half expected for the first year or two of PlayStation VR one that we'd get new controllers with analog sticks on them, and right. so it's like, no, 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 you guys are good, and we learned we learned to adapt. But man, the the ad learning to adapt has finally paid off, and we're going to finally have analog sticks, which is nice. All right, so here we go. Yep. Uh, sensing and tracking. Motion sensor with six-axis motion sensing system. That's the same. Six-axis was the same stuff used in uh, the DualShock 3, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, they, they even called it the six-axis before they put the rumble right. back in. So, yeah. Before, okay, okay. So, uh, three-axis gyroscope plus three-axis accelerometer. Uh, there's a capacitive sensor that has finger touch detection, uh, infrared LED, and position tracking. Mm -hmm. uh, LED position tracking. Yeah. So. So it does have the lights. So the the patent that we talked about not too long ago that said uh, there is some sort of light, mo like little um, lights on the controller. That's a thing. There might be lights on. There's actually going to be LED lights on the controller that are going to light up and they're going to help improve the, the tracking. That's a patent that actually stuck that we, we thought would. Nice. Nice. Yeah, that's great, man. I mean, like the, the more, the more they can throw in to make tracking better, the better, because, you know, I mean, I, I don't, uh, if anybody has used PC VR or quest, uh, then you know that it's tracking isn't perfect there, right? It's like the the second, the, the headset loses visibility of the controllers. It, it, yeah. it gets messy. Right. And so, right. You, this is this is sort of trying. Right. It's to not. It's not. Tra no, there's no GPS tracking yet. <laughs> there, <laughs> there, there will be at some point, but not right now. Right. Um, all right. The port is USB Type C, mm -hmm. as expected. Um, okay, but that's just for charging. So we're gonna. You're gonna probably just have to get a USB Type C charging dock. Uh, the communication is through Bluetooth version 5.1. So they are utilizing the Bluetooth 5.1, of course. And the battery is rechargeable, built-in lithium-ion rechargeable battery. Nice. Very, very good stuff. Um, this is absolutely, absolutely Guys. all very, very And I get a hype check 
Can I get a hype check in the chat? How we feeling? How we feeling right now, guys? Listen, listen, while you get a hype check in the chat, I'm going to get caught up on tips. Are you ready for this? We're going to blast through them again. Ready? Here we go. Dave Station VR with a $5 tip says, okay, what did I miss? Hopefully we caught you up. Creeper Betty PSVR with a $5 tip says, what's going on? So exciting. I'm glad you're here. Joey Cats 33 with a $5 tip says, oh my God, this is coming by September. No doubt. I think that's a safe bet. That's Alex crazy. Roca with the two euros says, congrats. How about the new wipeout? Wink. <laughs> uh, Johnny Rypop, oh, the straight cat. Oh, the cat's going crazy with the hype. We are with the oh, look at him go. Johnny says, feels nice to take the tinfoil hat off from time to time and take a bow. My next call is State of Play next week. I like this. I like this Rypop. I like it. Stay breathtaking. Looper, the underground game cat with the five euros says, so as AJ already used to say, the new controllers are two halves of a dual sense, which makes each of them a sense. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Peter the Underground, I don't know how you got credit for that. Peter the Underground Game Cat on parole with a $5 tip says, I'm so excited for this, but also extremely worried it will be scalper hell again like the PlayStation 5 gets its time to prepare for war. Dave Station right. we'll VR. Take, we'll, we'll, go, we'll go hunt down all the trackers, the, the uh, scalpers ourselves. Don't you worry. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I don't know what that, oh, yeah. I don't know what we're going to do once we find them. <laughs> I, might have to, I might have to step away from the channel for a little, you guys. Yeah, while you serve some time? Maybe we'll get you <laughs> yeah, back when you get I'd out. I do it for you, parole. okay? I would, I would do anything for our love, okay? Oh, so, <laughs> so nice. Dave Station VR with the $5 tips is 300 in chat, but only 69 likes. Actually, don't change anything. Uh, Joey Katz, yeah, hit the like button, guys. Uh, D Joey Katz with the 33 with the $2 tip says, you think they'll make an AIM-2 controller? I think we've said maybe like some attachments for the, the, the orbs, right, to connect them together. Um, but I don't know about the game too. Carlos A. Flores with the five dollar tip says, "Such a special day for all of us." In my first five dollars for super chat. Oh, thank you so much, Carlos. Greetings all the way from thank El you, Salvador. You guys know where that is, right, dude? I used to work with a yeah, bunch man. of dudes from El Salvador. Absolutely. If you're, <laughs> if you're, if you're, if you're excited, man, want to say something, let it rip, man. You, uh, you guys know. That's why we say, you know, join us, man. Join our, subscribe, join our Discord. We have the best uh, VR community you could ever ask for, and it's just nonstop conversation. And uh, you'll see in the chat, these are the nicest people ever. For those who didn't get it, uh, Nick, Nick uh, reiterates once again, and he says. You have a dual, like you have the dual sense, <laughs> and then you have dual sense. sense controllers. <laughs> we get it, Nick. We get it. I know. <laughs> it's good stuff. It's good stuff. Holy shit, man! But just a couple more tips, and then let's get it. And then we'll get on to talking about that game we just saw. Peter, the underground game cat on parole. Did I already say this with the two dollar tip? Says orb sense. Getting there. Like orb sense, but I get it. It's I don't, tacky. I, listen, it was it was so much fun calling them orbs for so long. I'm just glad that they have an official name now. Uh, I I wasn't married to the term orbs. I'm, I, I like the. Term. I was. I know. I know. I, I totally was. Looper, the underground game cat with the two euros, says hype level 11 out of 10, which is uh, pretty much where I'm at with you. And uh, we it, got Ben. It goes to 11. It ben goes Stedman to 11. You see this with the 90 quid. <laughs> 90 quid. No, no, no comment. Thank you very much, Ben Stedman. Hope you're doing well, and uh, thank you for the generosity. Uh, actually, thank you, everybody, for the generosity. I don't want to let all of this go by without thanking all of you. And Jason Ewing with the $2 tip says, hire AJ. Hashtag hire AJ. Let's do it. Go to patreon.com slash without parole games, man. Just give us a dollar. That's all we ask for a month, and if we get enough of you. Let's do this, man. Absolutely. All right, man. Now, this brings us to – I mean, this would have been hype fucking level 11 out of 10 with just what happened tonight, right? Because, again, anybody who's been following without Pearl for a while, we're like, oh, okay, well, we've seen these we've seen these specs before because we've already leaked them. And uh, But, but you know, seeing Jim Ryan on stage with the PlayStation VR 2 logo and actually announcing these specs would have been – would have been fucking incredible enough, especially since it happened so soon after New Year's. Like, here we are, like fucking January. Dude, Sony has Lord. always gone on hiatus during this time. Mm. They're never, they always go on vacation around this time. So, yeah. Love you, Sony. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so this this was very, very exciting. But then, as if as if that announcement and, and everything else that they said up to this point wasn't enough, then they said... We're going to talk about an exclusive PlayStation VR 2 game. Ooh. The first, the very first official PSVR 2 game, PlayStation VR 2. I like saying PlayStation VR 2 now for some reason. I usually, I, used to, 
I usually say PSVR. Well, they call it PSVR two as well. But I love the. I love just saying PlayStation VR two like the full way. Uh, the very first game, and it's an exclusive made by Gorilla Games and Fire Sprite Games, uh, and it is called Horizon Call of the Mountain. Please and man, name. <laughs> uh, I love it. <laughs> I love it. You got Horizon Zero Dawn, Horizon Fear, uh, Forbidden West. Now you've got Horizon Call of the Mountain. It's sick. I love it. It is pretty sick. I'm but you know what else I love? What? is the video itself <laughs> that they showed where <clears throat> so we did a report on uh, horizon vr that was being developed a long time ago it's still on youtube you can go watch it and get caught up uh with all the juicy details mm -hmm. uh but this is the official showing for it and uh yeah man the the video footage looks awesome uh you want to break down the article I, I you want me to go this time uh, yeah, absolutely. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be playing the trailer in full screen mode here while while we get started on the article. All right. So this comes from Jan Bart Van Beek, the studio director and studio art and animation director at Gorilla. He says, with only a few more weeks to go until Horizon Forbidden West launching February 18th, I'm definitely going to be playing that shit. Uh, <laughs> we're thrilled to reveal that we'll soon be journeying, soon be journeying back out into the wilds in a brand new adventure with Horizon Call <clears throat> Call of the Mountain. What do you think he? How soon do you think he means by we'll soon be journeying back after Horizon Forbidden West? I mean, you mean you mean when is this launching? <laughs> is that what you're? When asking? is PSVR two coming out? <laughs> no. I, I mean, <laughs> I mean, if we're gonna be if we're gonna be soon uh, coming uh, if we're gonna be soon going back into the world of Horizon through Call of the Wild, soon doesn't mean you know. Of course, that could mean. I'm sorry. Just call it Call of the Wild. <laughs> Uh, because Call that's what I keep thinking too. I keep, I keep thinking in my head, I'm Horizon just, Call of the Wild. I'm just, I'm just ha like, I'm just trying not to explode right now. Just spontaneously <laughs> combust, um, like a Spinal Tap drummer. Uh, so, yeah, uh, Call of the Mountain soon after the launch. So I, I'm not going to read too much into that. I don't think you should either. Le like, let's just wait for them to finish it. And when it's done, we'll get it. And we'll be happy. Uh, Created by uh, created for PlayStation VR 2, this unique experience has been designed to push hardware technology, innovation, and gameplay. The stunning visuals and brand new PSVR 2 sense controllers give a new meaning to being fully immersed into the world of Horizon. We don't want to reveal too much just yet, but this story will be told through the eyes of an entirely new character... You will also meet Aloy, other family faces, and new characters along the way. And we'll be introducing you to the protagonist of Horizon Call of the Mountain soon. So this is just the beginning, Brian. This is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. This is this is so interesting to me because um, cause, cause in my head, the first thing that they, I, I thought they were going to do a sizzle reel. I thought they were going to just kind of throw a bunch of titles at us all at once. But... I'm I'm actually really really happy that they went this direction instead and just said, "Hey, check this shit out, right?" And they show. I mean, what is it like? 15 seconds, not even of gameplay. It's it seemed like a yeah. It's not like a whole bunch. Um, let's see here. They it's really not even gameplay. I'm sure it's could be in engine and everything, um, but it's it's more so just uh, just kind of cruising down a raft um, in like a thing. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, it's it's about. You're exactly right. It's it's exactly thirty minutes, thirty seconds of gameplay. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, it does say captured on PS5 game in development. Uh, final content. Um, final content may differ. So this is PlayStation VR two footage officially, and it is captured uh, through uh, in game in engine. This is not uh, PC footage. AJ, let me ask you something. Now, I don't want to I don't want to defuse the hype at all, but I do want to have an honest talk about what they showed here, okay? Because right. because we've seen screenshots of this and now we've seen a short clip of this and it's and it's all been on <laughs> on this raft. <laughs> all 
Are you? <laughs> is there anything? Is there anything about this? And, and, I, and I don't think this is a bad thing if it ends up being the case. But do you think that this could possibly be Horizon VR Rush of Blood? Like here you are, you're on its raft, and we just want to showcase the the beautiful capabilities like, of PlayStation you, VR two, like a, a rail a, shooter where you're just like shooting a, arrows, and you're on a raft the whole time instead of on a roller coaster. This is not a rail shooter. I can guarantee you that. <laughs> you have nothing to worry about. This is just a preview of probably the beginning sequence. And I think the I think the thing that you're supposed to look at here and get excited about is that a giant tall neck <laughs> is walking over you and it looks huge. Yeah. Like a it looks enormous. Absolutely Enormous, and the jungle is dense as hell. Look at that. Yeah, uh, the jungle is full. It looks like, uh, like, like they said, man, high fidelity. You know, you know how much. Let me put it this way, Brian. <laughs> how much better does any game look in the headset than on a flat screen? We always say flat screen doesn't do it justice. And look at that. Oh, dude. Um, I think. I mean, okay. So first of all, yeah, I think this is beautiful. I think this is, you know, the, one of the things that we've been saying for a while is when you see PlayStation VR two and you see what it's capable of, and you will see that the games look practically as good as PlayStation five games just in VR. And this looks amazing just here, in, you know, on, on in trailer form. When you throw that headset on and you see the depth and everything of the world, and you see just like the the, the super high resolution that it's running in, and you see the character animations and, and how great the reflections in the water look, and the water animation, and then the scale of the fucking dinosaur. I just called it a dinosaur. What's it called? Tall neck. <laughs> yes, tall neck. I mean, scale, <laughs> like, I mean, like, all of these things combined, and it's just going to blow people out of the fucking water. And so, I mean, I am super, super duper excited about this. I'm just curious about this game specifically being like, eh, maybe like they just wanted to get a, a launch Dude. title out there, you know? No, no. We've heard rumors and rumblings about this game being in development as far back as 2019, late 2019. Um, we've heard about, so we know that this has been in development for a few years now. Um, I'm not saying it's, it's going to be, uh, you know, uh, a 30 hour horizon game but it doesn't need to be it just needs to be nope. a a long enough single player campaign adventure and this is the one thing that they haven't even shown yet like they they didn't they said that you're going to be playing as a new character so i'm going to be curious about what kind of weapons you use you meet aloy maybe you get to use the bow or something or or, or you know have your own bow you don't necessarily have to use that or imagine all the stuff in the horizon universe yeah. that you can reach out and interact with uh, now and that's going to be huge there's so much stuff in that game uh, that that you could potentially mess with and yep. wow yep. it's gonna it's gonna be mind-blowing yeah it's gonna be totally mind-blowing yep and and, and what in and whatever this turns out to be you know again I, I really think that it was super important for Sony to show like this graphical showcase something to just wow gamers and show you show you what PlayStation VR 2 is capable of is this gonna be our killer app I don't know who knows Maybe, maybe not. The fuck knows? It's doesn't definitely, matter. It's definitely, there's going to be several killer apps, Brian. <laughs> right. This is the first killer app right, of the, many. The, right. The point here is, is like, <laughs> compare this to anything, any of the competition. That's the point. Right. Right. And, right, and let, right. Let, like, let us show Triple you Triple A game. Yeah. This is what people wanted, man. This is exactly what people wanted. They want AAA games. Now, <clears throat> we're expecting a lot of AAA hybrid games. This game is something for us for the VR players that is built from the ground up for VR is VR only. It's exclusive to PlayStation VR 2. This is going to be awesome, whatever it is. It should be. Um, I mean, of course, we'll have to play it first, but but I'm expecting this to be, like, mind-blowing. You, When we got PlayStation VR, what's the first thing we did? We went into uh, White Moon Dreams uh, and uh, London Studio and um, Fire Sprites, like Playroom VR and uh, the 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 demo disc, the PlayStation VR demo disc, mm -hmm. and, and those were meant to like just showcase things. What all it took was getting into the menu for us to be like, oh my god, this is the greatest thing ever. Right. And they're 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 getting it. Uh, you know, they're starting right away with a Horizon VR game. No, nope, I, dude. Again, I 100% agree, and this is and this is great because it's something exclusive. It's something you can't play on the flat screen. You know, like as much as we're going to be very, very excited about hybrid games, 
having something that you simply just can't play anywhere else is also very, very exciting. Um, yeah, this man. we haven't seen any gameplay yet. We can't, but this is also the the thing is though this is also not a cinematic trailer. This was in game, a little just short in game clip. So yeah, we have to we have to play it. But it's like I'm just this couldn't this is the perfect thing to announce the headset with. Absolutely yeah. perfect. Yeah, anybody uh, Horizon not is. Yeah, anybody not excited about this? You're just fooling yourselves. Get yeah, get, get ready, real. man, because <clears throat> because VR is about to change. We're finally taking our first steps forward. And VR is taking its first steps forward in fucking six plus years, right? PlayStation VR 1 happened, and then nothing. No offense to anybody who loves anything else that they're playing, but it really hasn't taken a major step forward since PlayStation VR 1 launched. And then we're finally doing it. Finally doing it for the first time in six years. Fucking get ready. Yeah, when in a, at least a, in terms of a good balance between hardware and software, yes. Oh, absolutely. Dave Station um, VR with the two dollar tip says tip train rolling toot toot. Thank you, Dave. Wally Sarid Baridi with the Canadian two dollar tip says I should have known that CES would have VR two news. Yeah, I, I guess we should have known that too. Trey I am two with the five dollar tip says nothing, but thank you very much. We love you. Uh, Wally Sarid Faridi uh, with the Canadian two dollar says surely, don't call me surely. We will be climbing mountains and machines. Now, that's what I'm talking about. Yes, that that's what about. I want to do. Right? That's what I want to do. They've got joysticks now. <clears throat> we can we can walk around. No. <laughs> Obviously, you could do that anyway. Chucky V79 says pack-in game? Uh, maybe. Potentially. Interesting. Yeah, if it, if it is... If it is a full like 30, 40, 50 hour game, then I don't think it would be a packing game. But if it does, if it ends up being like a smaller uh, experience, and I could totally, totally see that be like, oh man, you, we just want to blow you away the second you put this thing on. Check this fucking thing out. Yeah. Um, Wonder Rob with the $5 yeah, I... tip. Want me to go or do you want to go? Yep, dip, no, uh, please go ahead. Bit of uh, <laughs> Rob says, AJ, you're really sharing your stoke about this. I am also stoked. <laughs> I've got stoked for days, man. Everybody gets stoked. It's PlayStation VR 2, man. PlayStation VR 2. We've waited so long for this, man. So long. And we, you know, we've been through a lot the last couple of years. So this is, this means a lot to me, man. And to be celebrating with you guys and, uh, you know, I, I couldn't ask for anything else, really. So real quick, I, Richard Barth is in the chat. says, Brian, sorry, but how do you get hyped when uh, most don't even have the PlayStation 5? Did, did you you should go to watch my breaking news report from yesterday um because because playstation 5s are going to be kicked up in production they're going to be way easier to find this year so get fucking excited and get a playstation 5 yeah. it's going to happen man they're going to be way easier to find uh, well ask- it's there's, yeah there's a high amount of demand that's still going to meet there's still supply chain issues they it doesn't like the thing is though is that if you you can obtain a playstation 5 i've obtained one my friend at the table it's it's a slowly but surely uh happening process and yes, it's a little bit difficult. You might have to try a little bit harder than some others, uh, but eventually, you know, eventually it'll get cleared. Right now, if you want one, you got to work for it a little bit. And yeah. and it's not even that. It's really, if you do the right things, it's not as hard as it seems. Um, like you know, a lot of people in our community already have one. Like. I get it. I get it. It's it's not as easy as just walking into the store. Oh, it's and it could be one super frustrating shelf. right now. But, right. but that frustration is But, but it is doable. Less. It it's is doable, doable. But it's gonna get but it's gonna get way easier. So if you're if you're not the type to like wanna sit there and refresh Twitter and wait for the it's understandable. But like later like shit will happen and, and things will get easier to find. This year is gonna be much, much better. And I'm just like I'm just so so ready to fucking find a new home for this in the fucking trash hey. pile once I get walkabout mini golf on any other headset <laughs> other than this. This is all I'm using this piece of shit for. Walkabout mini golf. That's it. Sorry, I just had to say uh, that publicly. Uh, pure, uh, sorry, we got. Um, sorry, I got to get caught up on this. Blue G, the underground game cat, right with the five dollars tips of January's PSBR two AF. That's good. I like that. Yeah. Uh, thank you guys for the impromptu games cast. Really loving this. Uh, Matthias Albuquerque, uh, Papar. E, I, I don't. I'm not gonna be able to say this. Uh, with the one ruble, it's one R. Thank you for the one R. Looper, the underground game cat, with the five euros, says, "This will be Horizon Dick Wild too." Yeah, I mean, I'm like, you know, it'd be beautiful. That's, that's It's not going to be Horizon Dick Wild 2. I, I, 
I'm not, I'm not 100% I'm, I'm hoping convinced about this. I, I want it to be a uh, Horizon Saints and Sinners. <laughs> oh, I mean, I think that's the dream, but we, we will see how this turns out. Uh, Bremen1973 with a $5 tip. What's up, dude? Says, love the show. Keep up the good work, guys. Uh, thank you very much. We got Aceville VR with a $5 tip. Says, Horizon is a smart choice. Big name, enticing. Let's everyone know they're serious. Then, boom, Gran Turismo 7, Uncharted, Grand Theft Auto. Good dude, way to roll into is- lunch. This is what you guys have to realize. Any PS5 game is a potential PlayStation VR 2 game now. Yep. Like, it's it's on. Any game, we have to keep under a microscope and keep up with because, yeah, there's a good chance a lot of... <laughs> there's going to be a lot of games this, this gen, man. Yeah. There's going to oh, be a absolutely. lot of games this gen. Oh, man, we suffered through so much nonsense with, 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 uh, with every VR platform. Every VR platform, we just waited and waited and waited, like one AAA game a year or something like that. And it's like, you know, and even at that, you know, some, some ended up great and some ended up okay. Uh, and, and just to know that we're going to be able to get like a flood of games that are, you know, we're not just going to have to be like, well, we all have to play every game that comes out. Or we're going to be really bored. Uh, it's it's going to be radically, radically different. Uh, Gatorade23, the H- H2O despising game cat, ran with $10 tips, says, just joining, must be important. If your game's casting off schedule, can you give me the gist? It's called PlayStation VR 2. We got some specs. We already leaked those to you. And Horizon Call of the Mountain was announced. That's the gist. <laughs> Hell yes. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh. All right, man. So, yeah. wow. Yeah, yeah. So let's let's talk, cats. What are we What are we talking about here? <laughs> What we have a lot to talk about here. Um, <sighs> hybrid games. There's there's so much <clears throat> there's so much to go through. I mean, like again, you know, I don't want to I don't want to ruin the moment. Let's stick no, to no, the PlayStation listen. VR. I, I, what we I still actually have to, think we, we have, should do. Yeah. What I actually think we should do is uh, save the rest of this conversation. We just want dude, we want to jump in here. We want to celebrate with you guys uh, because the news just broke and we want to be here and, and do this with you guys. All right. And so thank you all very much for being here. But we're going to continue this conversation on tomorrow's games cast on schedule. Right. Because we could talk for three more hours uh, about our thoughts about things and all that nonsense. Right. Uh, and, we, and we could talk to all of you guys about um, about PlayStation VR 2 for fucking 100 hours straight because that's kind of what we've been doing for the last two years anyway. Um Hey Brian, Ball yeah. Powell so, donates five dollars and says, "I cannot wait sh- wait to watch Brian live stream his first playthrough of Resident Evil 8. I'm so glad. I'm, I'm glad you're as excited about that as I am because I, I I purposefully didn't play Resident Evil 8 flat screen. I didn't play anything flat screen that I thought might possibly come to to VR. And uh, yeah, and here we are. Right? Shit could totally happen. Dude, Wally's, thank yeah. you. Oh, good. I was gonna read the next tip. Wally, I read. Saeed Faridi with the Canadian $5 tip says, Horizon as a launch game compared with PSVR 1 launch experiences. It's experiences, all capital letters. Experiences. This is a big step up. Imagine sneaking in grass and feeling it with sounds. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, many things. I mean, and just, I mean, imagine every time a, a, a tall neck takes it, like puts its foot down and the headset rumbles. <sighs> With that, with every single one, every explosion, yeah. every hit of damage and you in, take. And in the single sense controllers. And in the sense <laughs> controllers, yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, man, the, the haptics, the adaptive triggers using the bow, um, you know, some of those weapons and stuff you can grab, whatever they put into this game. Uh, but yeah, man, uh, yeah. fire sprite. Hell yeah, dude. Dude, yeah, I mean. Fire sprite. You know, the splash of the water. I'm sure they're going to do the whole, like, you know, 3D movie thing where they throw unnecessary things at your face when water splashes up from the from the <laughs> river and lands on your head. Boom, there's the yeah. rain that we've been talking about. Um, I mean, it, just the, the potential for all of this is endless. And I'm just so excited, man. So excited. Ben Stedman with the 90 quid. No tip. I mean, no, no, no message. Thank you very much, Ben Stedman. Thank you, Ben Stedman. And Hugh Guyver. Thank you. Love all of you guys so much, man. All Thank you guys. for sticking with us. Like, man, we really, we really get it from a lot of people outside. You know, it's the internet, so it's it's as to be expected. And and we kind of just had to take a lot on the chin and keep going, moving forward. So, man, um, you know, thank you guys for all believing in us, man. And yeah. we're we. We're so excited to share this together with you guys. I mean, you guys are the best community. If you didn't hear me before, make sure you join our Discord and stuff. Uh, come hang out with us. Come get to meet the cats. Become a game cat yourself and support PlayStation VR. PlayStation VR 2, Brian. Uh, and, yeah, man, I'm so excited. 
I'm, I'm so super excited. excited, man. Super excited. I know we're doing this over here on uh, PSVR Without Pearl, but make sure you subscribe to AJ at PSVR Underground as well. He uh, does his own channel over there. He does plenty of live streams, all sorts of things. We're going to be really pumping up the content as the news continues to break. Uh, I still got a ton of ton, tons of PlayStation VR 1 content to make. Um, but just be excited, guys. There's so many, so many, it's so easy to let your brain go, oh, but what if it's this? What if, but what? Dude, just fucking be excited. Enjoy man. the this moment, is man. Exciting. Be excited. Enjoy it. Stop being so negative just fucking enjoy life for once right hugh Giver with the australian five dollar tips says brian nostradamus paul called it again horizon vr bitches thank you so much say hello to your cousin mac for us we also got uh emily baxter hashtag the cartoony witch game kitten with the two dollar tips says silent hills vr let's go oh man abandoned you know i was abandoned you know yeah all these silent hill th- i don't think there's any silent hill thing that's going to happen but man oh, i'm so glad you just said that now it's going to happen <laughs> <laughs> yes maybe praise the lord <laughs> yeah that's true <laughs> yeah we know the drill but man i would love i would love a silent hill announcement too um yeah. jesus man jesus all right dude i listen again i we got, a lot of people are hanging out with us a lot of people are having fun but but dude i'm like i it's like let's let's save the rest of this for tomorrow Let's let's talk more tomorrow, and uh, and we'll be able to process a little bit more between now and then. Um, I've actually been super sick all day, but it's just like all of that just fell by the wayside. I'm just like everything's fine, everything's fine. Just fucking yep. <laughs> keep going. Uh, Never so, underestimate the so, power. So of thank you guys, thank you guys very very much. And AJ, thank you very much for being here and doing this impromptu games cast. Uh, we will do 20 questions tomorrow, I promise you. Um, but let's get out of here. Um, to Michael. To Michael, Gr- greatness awaits. Oh God, that Li- Michael. <laughs> live, live, live the game. <laughs> nice. All right, I'm just gonna cut Play, the whole no, screen. No, you know what? what? Play has no limits, Brian. Play, Play has no limits. Let's get out of here. Thank you, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. We love you so very much. PlayStation VR 2 is real, and it's gonna kick Woo-hoo-hoo! some major fucking ass. Let's go, baby. <laughs>